Hey guys, so this is day three of our vacation, right? Already? Is that crazy? I think so, wow. Right. It is yeah, Monday. day three of our vacation here in California. Um, and last night we got here, hung out with our friends that we are staying with, and um, yeah, we hung out, had a good time, went yes. to a couple, well, one winery, and then um, out to eat, yeah, and then um, yeah, at a brewery, and then we went to a really cool um, speakeasy. Yeah, speakeasy. It seems kind of dark. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. We showed a few clips of some of the different places that we went. Um, but now, this morning, we are heading into, um, a, we're gonna see a ton more wineries today. So uh, we're heading to the winery I used to work at. So I'm so excited, I'm gonna go see um, my old boss and coworker. Um, it's a very small winery, so there wasn't a lot of employees um, there, but I cannot wait to see my old boss and um, yeah, hang out at the winery and we'll hopefully be able to show you guys around a little bit at the winery. So, hope you enjoy the video. So the road up to the winery is a very twisty, turny, curvy, but beautiful. Um, it's definitely more uh, beautiful in the um, springtime when everything's much greener, but it's still pretty. So here's the first winery we're coming up to. Turley, we went there a couple times. Or one time, I think. Actually. Yeah. Some vineyards here. Aaron Hill. This is Aaron Hill? Yes. Oh, okay. Did we go on that one? I don't think we did. No? There's another one. We did go to this one. Oh, what was this one? Donati. Donati. Yes. Looks pretty cool. So here's a sign. Literally, wineries everywhere. Whichever way you want to go, straight, left, or right. <laughs> We're going straight. Here's another one. Lynn Colado. drive around because um, there's a lot of wildlife that you might see sometimes you wouldn't see any but sometimes you would like we saw a, a golden eagle one time we saw a jackrabbit and a bobcat so that was kind of fun to do every once in a while in the mornings because they're usually out you know more in the morning time
cool um, story about the winery that we're going to. Um, the owner, Gary uh, Carmody, he, um, or Gary Conway, was an old Hollywood actor back in the day. Um, and he was on Burke's Law and different things like that. And um, his wife was Miss America in 1950 something. I'll have to <laughs> look that up. Um, but they lived in. They lived in um, Hollywood area since he was an actor and uh, loved this area, Paso Robles, and were in a helicopter just flying around the mountains and looking at land and stuff. And the helicopter crashed, and they walked away with no no bruises, no broken anything. They were completely fine. And um, he said, "All right, well, I think this is the land I need to buy." So he bought it and uh, did different things with it, farming and some cattle but anyways finally made a winery he wrote a book and he's an artist so yeah very talented family We are in the tasting room where I used to work. We're right here. Here's what they're pouring today. And the owner, Gary Conway, designs all the labels. He is an artist and these labels are beautiful. They also do olive oil and balsamic, which is amazing. And the view while you're tasting is beautiful. Gary Conway does all the artwork, and some of these are on the wine labels as well. one of the movies that uh, Gary Conway was in. Some of the movies, Land of the Giants, Teenage Frankenstein, and Burke's Law. And she was Miss America in 1957. So the house where they're in, they do the tasting everything, is, they say, estimated around close to 150 years old.
to Halter Ranch to oh taste some wine. And this is beautiful. I drove past this like every day to work and never came yeah. to it. And it is gorgeous. So. Oh, from the road, you cannot see any of this. Oh, I'm glad we picked this one. Yes. This place I would highly recommend. This place has a beautiful property. The tasting room and everything has a beautiful view. Yeah, it was Halter amazing. Ranch. And the wine was really good. Ooh. Oh, it's opening this way. Dale, back up. <laughs> guys well I hope you enjoyed checking out some of the fun things that we did on our California trip on day three um, we got to visit lots of awesome wineries um, the one that I actually worked at Carmody McKnight which I love uh, the one right next door to it which was Justin and then we went to Halter Ranch as well and we would highly highly recommend any of these wineries if you're out in the Paso Robles area 
So give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, I know it's different than our normal Disney videos, but I thought it would be fun to show you, you know, um, some of our California trip as well. So we have some more days coming. We visit Big Sur and a couple other things that you guys don't want to miss out on. Um, and I'll have those uploaded hopefully, you know, in the next month or so uh, with all the Christmas activities coming out. It might be after Christmas. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And check out our sponsors. MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney planning advice. And also, uh, Victor Naraki, he is a realtor here in Central Florida. If you've ever dreamed about living near the magic, check him out at CelebratingFlorida.com or Facebook.com slash Naraki Realtor. Make sure you tell him Resort TV One sent you. And do you want to save money for your next Disney vacation? You can cut your uh, TV bill and still watch the shows that you want. So go check out cordcuttersnews.com, cordcuttersnews.com, or on youtube.com slash cordcuttersnews. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.